So thank you so much for everyone coming today. I really, really appreciate it because like we were saying in the 1215 fashion show, this is just, everything's weird right now and if we can have a little bit of normalcy, it's a nice thing right now. So thank you all for being here, I appreciate it. And I really appreciate all these vendors who are here today as well. We were only allowed to have X number of people in our facility, so so it's a smaller show, but it has to be because of restrictions. So anyway, that's just, we appreciate everyone so much that's here. It really means a lot. So the gentlemen that are doing our sound and light for our fashion shows today is Rocky Mountain Sound and Light. Cliff Will and the gang over here, they do a fantastic job. And we appreciate them so much and their expertise. They are great, and they are so nice to me last minute. So <laughs> I say that every time, um, but it's true. Um, Carissa, lovely Carissa over here, is above and beyond hair. And she does hair and makeup services um, locally for your wedding. So if you're getting married anywhere, she will travel to you, and she will take care of you with her awesome tool belts and everything. And I tell you what, man, she's also really good at things like moving dresses, telling you what time it is, making sure that you get to where you need to be. I say these things because these are things she does for me personally. <laughs> so she really keeps my head on straight, and I appreciate her so much. We are making a video today. That's my, my husband and lovely assistant back there, Levi. And he's going to be doing a video of the fashion shows um, for both our part, which is LPH Bridal and Formal, and for Christina's Formal Wear to put up for people who wanted to attend virtually for it. They couldn't be here in person. So um, so we're going to be doing some juggling around in that. Let's see. Is that everything? Yeah. I think so. Okay, I'm going to spin you through our dresses, and then I'll let Christina go. She has lovely live models, which is wonderful and the best way to do it. We have dress forms today, which is weird, um, but we wanted to be sure that we let more people in the room, and it, it helped us avoid some of the stress of the COVID era. So this is how we just chose to do it right now. We are in Laramie, but we do everything by appointment, and we do weekends, weekdays, daytime, evening, very, very flexible. So if you have questions, just let us know. We carry a couple brands, but this is our Maggie, Lee, our Maggie Sotero and Rebecca Ingram line that we brought up. So, to do, 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 this is Evangelina, and she is a Maggie Sotero. And Levi's gonna help me turn this in just a second. So this is a beautiful satin gown. It is a sheath dress, meaning it is very form-fitting, it, it's very basic in the front, and that's what people say, like, oh, it's a very basic dress. You know, when people say basic, I like to substitute the word elegant, because it is a basic dress, but that's part of what is the timeless elegance of something like this. This is just a beautiful dress, this is a beautiful dress, this is a beautiful dress, all the time. But the one thing that I like about it being so basic in the front is because the back is absolutely stunning. Right? It's beautiful. So this is Swarovski crystal in the back, and you have this lovely little accent. I've had people do this mostly with it, but you could also just let it hang on each side if you wanted. So a very dramatic low cut back with some beautiful crystals, and this is a lovely, lovely dress. So this one is called Evangelina. He's such a good assistant. If you guys have any questions about any of the dresses today, just let us know. And if you guys want to play music, you can totally go for it. You don't have to not play music for me. That's all right. This is Summer. She is a Rebecca Ingram. Rebecca Ingram is a part of Maggie Sotero's line. These are dresses that are beautiful and at a really nice rate. So this is Rebecca Ingram, and this is called Summer. Now this is, if you're like, is that pink? It's, it's called Blush. And it is a very light pink. It's very complimentary to a lot of skin tones. It's very unique. And it also has a lot of texture and detail to it because it has this really neat under layer. Of all, it almost looks like crackled glass. And then the tool layer with the floral applique that hangs over it. Creates a really nice effect. And the skirt just bounces when people walk. It's very, very nice. Obviously, it's a strapless ball gown with a sweetheart neckline. It has some modest qualities to it, which is nice and the coloring to it is really unique. If you love this dress, but aren't sure about the pink color to it, it does come in all ivory, so that is an option as well. Thank you, dear. So people have been asking me today how long do dresses take to come in? It depends on what you order. Every 
line pads dresses that are more popular and they tend to keep those rather in stock in their warehouse. So sometimes you can get those right away. And I'll talk about it when it comes to this one here. And then other times a dress might take three months. So it's not a bad idea to give yourself a good six months of workshop if you can. But if you cannot, no panic, there's always options. This is called Greenleaf. It's a Maggie Sotero. And I encourage you to come afterwards and check out this train because it's got some really cool details to it. So this is a fit and flare. Fit and flare means that it's fitted through the bodice, fitted through the hips and the waist, and the legs, and then it flares out, literally fit and flare. You also hear the term mermaid. Mermaid is kind of a very uh, significant version of that, along with a little trumpet bell. But this is a fit and flare, so a little bit more softer of a line. And some people think that if they're kind of hippie, some people think, oh, fit and flare is not for me. Try it on. You might be really surprised. Fitting flares do very beautiful things for all sorts of figures. So the train on this that I encourage you to come check out when it's done, I think you can turn it. While we're doing that, one of the things I love about Greenleaf is that this under layer is a jersey knit, so it feels like a t-shirt underneath, which is really cool. It's very soft, and, it's, and so if you're checking it out, come over and touch the train, because it's very, very soft. This train is neat. It's got your soft jersey knit fabric that ends here, and then the extension, that tool extension on the bottom is really cool. Now this is the ivory over nude, but it also comes in an all ivory version as well. So this one is called Greenly, and she's beautiful. All right, thank you, Mr. <laughs> the other thing that you can always talk to your bridal shop about is your budget and pricing, especially in the COVID era when budget is a thing. Talk to them about what they do with, with payment plans. A lot of times, at our shop for example, and it seems like a lot of shops do it the same way, you have to have your first half down to order your dress. And then your second half you have some payment options on. All right, so Ardell is this one. And this is a really, really, really popular dress. It does so many beautiful things to so many figure types. Um, it's got a very nice waistline, so it really creates a nice smoothing line in the midsection. If midsection is something that everybody has a thing, if midsection is your thing that you want to smooth out, an A-line is a beautiful option, and this one really does a nice job. So this dress, for example, I had a bride on Friday night that decided this was her dress, and because it is so popular, they actually had several options of sizes in stock, so I was able to order it for her, and it's on this way right now, which is really cool. Doesn't always happen that way, but the more popular gowns, different lines have popular gowns that they keep in stock because they're so popular. That's the example here. So this is Paul Ardell, and she has another nice, we're talking about these glitter underlayers. She has a nice glitter underlayer. And I really like that when mine do this because this is so bright, but you throw this little bit of tool over it, it softens it and makes it a very nice, like a moderate bling. <laughs> if there was such a thing. If bling came in degrees, this is like a medium bling. <laughs> but I like that because it really creates a very nice, shiny look that's not too in your face. This is all illusion netting on the top, but it has a nice little nude underlayer so that it looks like it would be very see-through, but this is actually what it looks like. So it's not as revealing as it looks like once you put it on. And the thing I like with the high halter top too, is it creates that, that I know Christine was mentioning that in the last show, it does help with that modesty factor, which is a very nice feature too. It works well for some people. I've had some brides that they say they're very athletic, very, you know, they're kind of broader in the shoulders. Maybe they're um, like a, we had a college swimmer, so she was very broad in the shoulders, she's a fly swimmer. And the halter really worked very nicely for her. Um, she tried on a strapless dress and it kind of accentuated her broad shoulders in her mind. I thought she looked beautiful, but in her mind it made it look a little broader and the halter was a nice choice for her. So I encourage you when you go and try on dresses, try on lots of different kinds. If you look at something in a book or on the mannequin or on the hanger and you're like, that's not for me, I don't know, I don't think so. try it on. It never hurts to try it on, and you might put it on and go, oh wow, that actually looks really good. So I've had some brides that walked out with the dress that they didn't even think they would ever wear. <laughs> because they just tried it on, they had no idea. So it absolutely doesn't hurt for you to put it on. 
and decide that's not for me, or you might learn something about yourself you didn't know. All right, what else can I tell you? I think that's all of them. The other thing I wanted to point out real quick and talk to you guys about, um, and tell you a story about, and I'll just take a second, Christian, I'm sorry. This was a thing that we had happen at the store, and it, um, it was really powerful to me, and I, it was something that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, if you have, and in our 2021 guide, I have a little article about some tips, and I talk about this in there. If you have a member of your party that's coming with you that's pushy, like a mom. <laughs> a lot of times it's a mom. And I am a mom of a 17-year-old girl, so I can kind of understand this. Or it might be a sister, or a friend, or a mother-in-law, that you know that she's going to kind of push. Um, you know, you might make a, make a plan ahead of time. You can make a plan ahead with your bridal shop. You can talk to the professionals at the bridal shop about it. You can talk to other people with your bridal party that are coming with you about it, just to kind of help if you know that they're going to be pushing you in a direction that you may not want to go. For example, I had a bride, she's a beautiful girl, a plus size bride, and she came in and she was very, very uh, shy about her body. She kind of carried herself like this. You know, we all see those girls that carry themselves. They kind of bend their shoulders in, and they wear very oversized clothing that kind of hides everything. She was very shy about her figure. Um, she put on the ball gown, it was beautiful, and then she put on a mermaid dress that accentuated her hips and her curves and her waist and all the natural curves that she had. Even as a plus size girl, she had beautiful curves. And she came out and it was the sweetest thing. She stood there and she said, I have hips and I have curves and I never saw this in myself before. And you could see this starting to come out of her and the shoulders started to come back and she started to open up. It was so neat. And then her mother said, but the ball gown looks nicer on you. And it was just me watching, I was like, oh. And you could just see the girl just start to do this again. And it just broke my heart. So I went into the dressing room with her to help her change. And she said, I guess I should put the ball gown on again for my mom. And I said, do you really want to? And she said, no, I like this dress. The one that made her feel so good. And I said, you look beautiful in this dress. And she said, I feel beautiful in this dress. And I never feel beautiful. And I said, well, Let's, let's go talk about it, let's go talk about it. So she came out in that dress again, and her mom was kind of surprised. And we talked about it, and she said, she said, honey, I think you should do the ball gown. And, and I said, you know, I really think you look beautiful in this dress. You look so confident in this dress. You look like you really love this dress. And the girl said, mom, this is my dress. I want this dress. And the mom said, what? And she said it again, louder. And the mom said, oh, okay. Well, if you feel that strongly about it, that's your dress. And her photographer sent me pictures of her wedding, and she was just beautiful. She just shone, you know? She just had such a light to her. And it was so special to think that she got to talk, you know? And so she getting to talk to me, and me saying, hey, let's, let's talk about this, let's put it out there. I think that's an okay thing to do. And I know it kind of pushes back, but it's okay to push back. It's okay, but use your professionals to help you push back in a way that's just gently, that just helps me move those waters. Because that's a real life thing, right? These are relationships in a big real life moment, and that's okay. Um, as you can tell, it's hard to breathe when ask them. <laughs> um, so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if, you, if you're if you having a moment when you go into trying a wedding dress, it's okay to you know use your professionals that are helping you to help communicate with someone in your party that might just make it a little tougher. And being a mom of a girl, I totally get it. <laughs> so I can see myself thinking that I'm a well-meaning mom and not realizing what I'm doing if I ever say to my daughter, you should do something different that looks better on you. I don't realize that as a mom. So it goes both ways. But I think it's good to communicate and it's good to let people help you out. So I just wanted to share that story with you guys because it was kind of a, a big moment for me. <laughs> we all have those things happen, don't we? We do. Okay, we're going to have our models come out again, and our first young lady out is going to be Laramie. And Laramie is wearing one of our beautiful 
Moonlight Dresses, or excuse me, Maury Lee. This is the division called Voyage, more of a destination style dress with a halter top, kind of a little boho look. And this has a slit up the front, and it's that very beautiful, soft, flowy chiffon. And check out the back of this dress. This dress has all those beautiful lace straps. And this makes a perfect dress for a destination backyard wedding. Um, something if you're just doing something kind of small. And all of our head pieces today, too, are by Bel Air Fashion. So if you see something you like on the girls, just let us know. We'll be happy to help you. Okay, and our next young lady is Dusty. All right. Okay, and Dusty, she has on another one of our beautiful Lori Lee She Style gowns. It has a beautiful all-tool lace train. Um, again, for those of you ladies that like something that's more covered, and if you are very large busted, the halter styles are really good for those type of uh, fits because they do hold you up and pull you in. Um, I do a lot of the alterations in my store, and so I have to work with the tops on a lot of these dresses, but that's a perfect dress for girls that really do not want to show anything at the top. So uh, it has a beautiful back on it. She got off the stage before I got to finish, but anyway, it has a gorgeous back with a uh, lace strap across the back. Okay, and our next young lady is Anisha. And Anisha is also wearing one of our beautiful Fit & Flair Maury Lee's. And this has a stunning back on it where you can kind of see there's a keyhole back. Um, it has all the lace, sheer lace, clear down on the, all the way down on the hip, and then the lace on the train. This is a beautiful stretch crepe, so it's very, very soft. You'll love the way it feels, so maybe after the show today, you might want to come up and just kind of feel the fabric on this dress, because it's very, very comfortable. You got it, Misha, or you need some help? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, and next we have Larissa. And Larissa is also wearing another Maury V ball gown. And this beautiful ball gown that she has on is a lot of tulle and lace appliques. Has a beautiful beaded strap. Again, another one of our high neck halter dresses. So it's more like an A-line type dress versus a ball gown. But um, it has a great semi-cathedral train and then the beautiful back on it. And her dress again is from Lori Lee. Okay, Brandy, she's wearing one of our beautiful moonlight ball gowns. This has a beautiful lace bee plunging front on this dress. Um, it's in a beautiful ivory taupe rose color. And as you heard Katie say earlier about one of her dresses, if you do not like the color, um, we can always get this in just a solid ivory. But, you know, color has really been popular for the last several years. And if the girls come in and try these dresses on, the skin tone on some of our beautiful brides that come in go with these dresses so well. Okay, and that's our lovely model Brandy wearing this beautiful moonlight dress in the ivory taupe rose. I lose my breath. 